about 6.45 and I'm heading up to hopefully climb and ski the Chevalier Couloir on the Petit Yigi Vert which would normally be one of the most accessible steep skis in the Alps but I'm no lifts running I've been skiing all the way up from the valley bottom and yeah, thanks to the curfew I have a rather leisurely Alpine start as opposed to a 4am start which probably would have been preferable but there's already lots of people on the hill ahead of me so I'm not the first one here but let's see how it goes so the snow is perfect summer alpine right now bullet hard neve which is great for climbing not great for skiing and even worse for spinning so I think I might regret my choice not to bring the ski crampons at the moment but we shall see already the people ahead of me slipped backwards a few times so it's going to be a bit dicey I've just about made it to the mid station with only one brown pants moment where I had to suffer the rest of my, by my fingernails and nearly lost the ski. Thank God for leashes, I didn't forget those. So the snow's still boiler plate even up here. But at least now I'm off the groomers, it's all cut up, so there's some friction. So I don't feel like I'm going to fall over quite so much. But I'm not sure it's going to be possible to ski anything steep today. So the snow's improved a lot since getting up into this sunny slope up here. Lovely kind of buttery spring powder, which hopefully it's still like this on the way down for me. But I won't be surprised if it's gone into the shade and refrozen the crud again by then. So I'll have to go quickly to try and catch it when it's still in the sun. So I made it to the base of the route, so much it would normally take about 20 minutes before the Grand Monte cable car burned down. And even after that, pre-COVID, you could have skinned down about two hours from the top of one of the other lifts. And so it's taken me nearly four. So long old slog. So I'm at the Berg's run now, or nearly at the Berg's run, which is often the crux of the whole route. So it could be a bit spicy, especially I'm roped and solo right now. But the snow's actually quite good, so I may be able to ski it after all. About to cross this soft snow bridge now, fingers crossed it holds. Negotiated the Bergstrand, now it's a small matter of 200 metres of 40 50 degree snow plod. And the gully's just started raining down stuff. I don't know if that means there's someone dropping in at the top or if it's just the sun's just caught the wrong bit. Quite a lot of stuff coming down now. best to stay off to the side of that runnel. This left hand side is a bit shadier, a bit firmer snow. There's no sign of anyone coming down yet, but the slough must have been natural which isn't a great sign. But most of the gullies in the shade now so I should be able to stick to this shady side and very least climb it safely. I have to see about skiing it. Snow is still pretty deep, making this hard work.
That's really good climbing snow in the sense of running around when you're not getting pelted by sloth, that is. So it's going to be horrific to ski. So unfortunately the top half of the cool was completely unskiable. Quite nice to climb, hard work, but yeah, nowhere near enough snow to ski. And what snow that was there was incredibly chossy and either crusty or icy. So instead of doing a very dodgy down climb in the top half of the Kulwa to find the powder in the bottom half, it's much safer just to ski off this side from the north face of the Petit Yigi Vert. So some of those tracks up there you can see are my tracks. But that length for a, made for a, a couple of steep powder turns and then much more mellow, chattery skiing. But definitely the safer option today. <laughs> 